We're talking about a solar, total solar eclipse coming to Erie in 2024 next year. And preparations are already in place. Today, Visit Erie hosting a news conference at the Bayfront Convention Center. Our Caleb Yager was there. He's joining us now live from outside with the details of this eclipse. Caleb, good evening. Approximately 367 days from now, Eva, between the hours of about 2 and 4 o'clock, it's going to be a historic event here in Erie, Pennsylvania, witnessing what's predicted to be a solar eclipse. And today at the Bayfront Convention Center, Visit Erie hosted a press conference to get preparations going this early in advance. Mark your calendars for April 8th, 2024. And remember these three words. Path of totality. Erie County will be only one out of a few select geographic locations in the United States that will experience the total solar eclipse. Right, it'll start in the lower uh, southwest uh, uh, Texas area and then move into the, uh, to, to the northeast through Erie, through Cleveland, Erie, uh, Buffalo, Rochester, that area, and then it will exit uh, uh, North America. That path of totality is quite narrow. It's only about 100 miles wide. So for that swath, for that path to go through your particular city is, is rare. The last solar eclipse in August of 2017 brought several hundred spectators to Liberty Park. In 2024, that number is expected to be just a bit higher. We could expect anywhere, and I know it's a wide range, between 65,000 and 250,000 people. And the community is doing everything it can to prepare for this once-in-a-lifetime experience because Erie won't be in the path of totality again for the rest of this century. But we're looking forward to this. It gives us an opportunity uh, to showcase Erie to a lot of visitors who um, might not consider Erie as a place to come to visit. This is home. We're, <laughs> it's part of us, you know, so we want to be here and want to be part of it. Um, and we want to be able to broadcast it, too, for those that, that can't physically get out. And ever since you were a kid, the advice has been always been given to never look directly into the sun with bare eyes. So it's never too early to get one of these in advance for the upcoming solar eclipse. Reporting live from somewhere up a little higher, Caleb Yager, Erie News Now. Back to you, Eva.